One day, a beggar came out of his house in the morning. Is the day of the festival. There is a possibility of getting a lot of alms in the village today. He came out after putting some rice grains in his bag. He has put grains of rice in his bag because if the bag is seen full, then it becomes easy for the giver. He feels that someone else has also given. The sun is about to rise. The road is asleep. People are still waking up. As soon as you come on the road, the king's chariot is seen coming from the front. He thinks that today he will get good alms from the king. The king's chariot stops near him. He thought, blessed is my fate. Till today I have never been able to beg from the king because the doorkeepers return it from outside. Today the king himself has stopped in front of me. The beggar is thinking this. Suddenly the king stands in front of him like a beggar and starts demanding alms from him. The king says that today a great crisis has come upon the country. Astrologers have said that to overcome this crisis, if I give up everything and bring it by taking alms like a beggar, then only its solution is possible. You are the first person I have met today, so I am begging from you. If you refuse, then the country's crisis will not be averted, so you give me anything in alms. The beggar had been begging all his life, never raised his hand to give, got into thinking that what kind of time has come today, a beggar is being asked for alms and can't even refuse. Taking out a grain of rice with great difficulty, he gave it to the king. The king took the same grain of rice and being happy, went ahead to beg. Everyone gave alms in abundance to that king. But the beggar started feeling sad about the loss of rice grains. Somehow he came home in the evening. When the beggar's wife turned the beggar's bag, she also saw a grain of golden rice inside the alms. When the beggar's wife told him about that gold grain, the beggar started crying by beating his chest. When his wife asked the reason for crying, he told her the whole thing. His wife said, You don't know that the charity we give is gold for us. What we collect turns to dust forever. From that day that beggar stopped begging and started working hard to maintain himself and his family. The one who always begged by spreading his hands in front of others, now started doing charity and charity with open hands. Slowly his days also, started changing. People who always used to keep distance from him, now started coming closer to him. He came to be known as Danny instead of a beggar. Education, the person who has the tendency to give, never lacks anything and the one who always has the intention of taking, never gets enough.